And we are live today from the capital city of the internet, Cambridge, Massachusetts, where it is an absolutely scrumptious day. So scrumptious, how I could barely get me about the time to this chair to avoid going outside. It is absolutely lovely one of those days we say all winter that we were, we were paying for it, and now at last they're here. My name is Dr. Jeffrey Lant. I am the CEO and the co-founder of World Profit at www.worldprofit.com. It's W-O-R-L-D-P-R-O-F-I-T. A bit scratchy of throat today. Of course, the last several days I've been coming down with this laryngitis. Because in my other job, besides being CEO, I'm writing a book, uh, which will, uh, it's going to be a, I'm, I don't even know if I want to tell you. But I'm writing a great book, and uh, we work on it through, periodically throughout the course of the day. It's about a third done now. We expect to have it come out in September. But what will be unusual about this book is that our monitors will get all the leads from it. And it is a pip of a read. But that's not today's story. Today's story is we're going to prepare you for the 4th of July. One of the many, many, many traffic generating services we provide is I have written over a thousand articles, including articles on every holiday that there is, so that you can plop them into uh, our device, invented by George Kosh, a genius of record, genius and inventor of record, and in three minutes you can have an ebook. Now, Howard's an expert on this. First, I want to introduce him. This is my colleague, Howard Martell, who's uh, one of whose big holidays of the year is the 4th of July. I'm sure he'll be saying something about that. Tell the people about, uh, just greet them and tell them a little bit about how you use these articles. Because every every uh, holiday that comes by, there's a whole series of articles that you can use. Uh, and it's not too early, by the way, to use your 4th of July articles, uh, which after all is coming up in just a few weeks, a couple of weeks. Howard, your thoughts? and your introduction. And we have no sound. Months. And he's going down. Okay, we're going to just carry on. He'll be back momentarily. And these technical issues do occur. I want to introduce myself to Pauline Cummings and Avelino. You got some sound? Yes, I do. Good. All right, let me start back over again. My name's Howard Martell. I'm a retired U.S. Navy veteran as of 2012. I'm a proud member here at World Profits for the last four years plus, and I've been using the e-books and the content that Dr. Land provides, Sandy Hunter, and George provides. These e-books take less than five minutes to create. Everything is provided to me. I even have a way to create my own e-book covers. As an advanced member, I use these techniques at least twice weekly. On all kinds of topics, we have 2,819 articles to choose from, and then some. And if you're a creative writer and want to think outside the box, you can use this to market your own products and services also. That is true. Is that it? Short and sweet? Yes. You tell you about sweet. Any, let me tell the folks about Anything Goes. Anything Goes is the longest running live internet program in the world. We invented it here. It takes place every day in the live business center, which is exactly what it says. This is a place where real people do business 24-7, 365. The live business center was invited by the Federal Profit in 2006, and uh, was given to me as a Christmas present. As a matter of fact, I was the first monitor. You know, monitors who close sales for our members 24-7, 365. So if you're a lousy sales closer, and most of you are, this is uh, something you should look at. Um, World Profit has existed for over 20 years. We are a Canadian corporation with the U.S. office here in Cambridge, and Cambridge is the oh, Cambridge is the cat's meow for the internet. It is every major player on the internet, and lots of minor players are coming to Cambridge. The place is crawling with internet people. It is like being in Detroit in the 1950s, the gleaming city of technology they call Detroit. Well, now it's Cambridge. Uh, I am the CEO and the co-founder of WorldProfit.com. I've been in this position since uh, 1994. We are also given the highest merit rating by the Canadian Better Business Bureau. We have a four-point uh, merit rating. It takes a minimum of 10 years to get that rating. You have to be a member in good standing for 10 years and no goof-offs. And then you have to, at that point, your rating level starts. And it can go up or down depending on how you treat it. We treat it with the utmost of seriousness. 
and it is in the hands of our president, Sandy Hunter, S-A-N-D-I Hunter. She is the world's longest reigning internet CEO of any internet company in the uh, entire world. We are going to dedicate this program today to Ms. Paulette, to um, Paulette Cummings, who's been here, now in German, German tourist. We're going to get her. We want you guys to listen extremely carefully. We will be surprised if you don't join us after the program. What we are all about is making money. Right? You've been here uh, that over and over. We have developed over the course of over 20 years a program that makes you money. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. If you want to make money, you'll come with us. We have a very simple belief. Number one, if you don't come in with us, there must be something seriously wrong with your understanding of what we do. Because we have no competitors, none whatsoever, and a thorough system that is proven to make money. Howard, do you want to say something about the system? <laughs> system works. I'm living proof that through following up and doing the required promotion, you can make money here. Ever since I was able to free a lot of my time up, I'm able to work this full time and go to school at the same time. When a person says they have, don't have time in their hands, baloney. A lot of the techniques here are automated, but you still have to be able to have basic skills. Copy, paste, click. Our offers. I'm going to stop you now because I want to talk specifically to Walter Malloy, who's just the kind of person that we really don't understand. Walter, are you there? I'd like to ask you a question. By the way, this is fully interactive. It's fully recorded. It will be sent all around the world. Right now, we're talking specifically to the people in what I call the studio audience, who are everywhere on Earth. But we're also going to be putting this on YouTube immediately following this program, and then it will be read by tens of thousands of people everywhere. Walter Malloy, would you please respond to me, and German Torres, and Pauline. Now, here's the thing. If we folk, if we, you folks are not responding, we assume that you're robots or horseflies or something, and we get rid of you. So the very best way to get out of here is to say nothing. If you want to make money and learn how it's done, you'll interact with us. All right, Pauline, and welcome to you. Sit back and relax. Pauline, in about uh, four, 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 55 minutes or so, we're going to be bringing you to this community as a member, whereupon we will start the process of helping you money. Same thing for German. We expect you to join us within about four to 55 minutes after you've had a chance to understand how we work. And there will be people coming in and out. The people that I don't understand are those that come here 5, 6, 7, 8, 55, 60, 163 times and do nothing. They, to me, that's the certified definition of craziness. Can I speak to that, Howard? Yes. It's, if people want success, I tell people all the time, you need to have the tools, the training, and the consistent traffic. We have that all here and a whole lot more. I call it a one-stop shop towards my success on the internet. Now, Howard, you can want people to join me. Lloyd coming back, he's been here five times. What do you want to say specifically to Walter? Uh, Walter, I want you to listen to Howard Martel uh, give you a candid evaluation of what we know about you based on the fact that you have come here five times and not joined us. What's the problem, Walter? Walter. How bad do you want success on the internet? Do you want to work with a person like myself? Been on the internet for a while, but still learning? Or do you want to work with some scam artist that's going to take your money, say that you can make a million dollars overnight, and guess what? He got you. Because of the fact that he scammed you this is not a scam this is legit and we're here to help you Walter so type in that text bar down below so we know where you stand at the first thing we're going to help you Walter. here is I'm going to ask our members of our community from all over the world to post a message to Walter and Walter. I want you to tell him in your own words give him one reason why he's joined today because Walter is sitting there Doing nothing, achieving nothing, making nothing, adding nothing to the conversation. 
and short it's about as good, the closer definition of waste as possible. Now, Walter says, I had trouble yesterday. Uh, EPP was installed. I think mean, that's PayPal. So, Walter, are you telling me that you're ready to place an order right now? If you're going to place an order, we're going to help you right here on the camera. So the people all over the world can see just how easy this is. Walter Malloy, are you ready to place an order? And again, we're on the air, folks. And there's only one rule of no profits, if anything goes, and that is um, be prepared to be answered. Have a thin, thick skin. You know, don't take it too personally. And don't throw a fit. So this, is a, this is a place where people are encouraged to speak up with the understanding that we're going to speak up right back. Walter Malloy. Camera's on you, the focus is on you. What are you doing, Walter? See, now, folks, for all of you at home, this is where we know that people uh, are not really paying attention. You don't need to come here five times to get the information. You don't need to get here four times. You can come once, twice, if you're absolutely needed to go over it again. But then you should be ready to proceed and start making money. In other words, don't keep coming back, coming back, coming back, saying you're doing some homework. We know you're not doing homework. The way to mask this program is from the inside, not by looking at it from the outside. How do you want to comment on that? And we still don't have Walter Malloy cooperating with us. 100 yesterday for being first. Being first in what, Walter? Walter, you're not talking to us in a clear cut way. <laughs> Did you buy the package yesterday? This is what you're trying to tell us? If that's the case, then you're coming in on the wrong ID number. Make it clear, please. We need clarity. Now, part has written a question for you on the screen. The, uh, we need a clear answer. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. This is extraordinary. I went to the grocery store this year and I bought blueberries, and I think I, I think I remember buying them, Howard. I remember where they were in the store. I remember the price. Uh, I think he, he would know that we bought, don't you think? Oh. Okay, uh, Walter, you're not making any You look at the sense. I want to know the answer to this question. Did you purchase the silver package yesterday? You know what I'm going to do, Howard? I'm going to do, since we're playing this out, I'm going to go to his record and check it out and see if he did or not. And we'll know and won't be writing that in. Let me take just a minute to find this out. And if you want. 46 members and guests looking in at any. Daily live show. Schleidel says anything goes. And to become a member, go to www.20waystoprofit.com forward slash associates. Okay, he said yesterday, Marlon Jolson, is that him? What, what is the name he's going by? What, what, is, what, what is the name you're going by, Walter? I don't see um, anyone named Walter. Nope, I don't see any Walter. But how are I going to easily solve this problem by having to click on the right red box and place your order? You understand the instructions, Walter. Okay, Walter, you keep saying something about app PP. We don't know what you're talking about. If you want to take advantage of our special offer, you click on the bright red box that says order now. And he's in. Oh. How this happened, I do not know. <laughs> it is a mystery, but it is a mystery on the camera, so we're happy. By Walter Malloy. You are now in as a member. We'll give some directions about how to get started. 
The people who are watching in, this is what we do. We don't just sign you up and let you drift. We sign you up and then give you very, very specific instructions. Howard, we, uh, I'm going to let you uh, introduce yourself to Walter Malloy here. Walter, you, you indicate that you listen to us, get a few paper and a pencil. We've got some very important instructions for you. People who are watching at home or in the months ahead on PayPal, or rather on YouTube, please be aware that we provide extremely and battle-tested suggestions on how to make money. These are not, not just things that we come up with every day. These are things that we know work. And Walter, Walter has disappeared for the moment. I'm sure he'll come back. Well, Walter's finding his way to the Executive Rule Laboratory. I'm going to read today's article before I lose my voice altogether. One of the things that um, makes me horrified is every once in a while, someone does a survey and asks questions about the Constitution or the Declaration of Independence or the Bill of Rights. Most recently, there was a survey and the people were asked the following questions. Do you support freedom of religion for the United States? 77% of the people responding not knowing it wasn't the Constitution, and Bill X said they did not approve of religious tolerance or the religious diversity. 77%. And we, we like to think of ourselves as being superior to the 18th century, don't we? On the question of, on the question of the First Amendment and freedom of press, do you support the right of the press to say what to, any, about any story that was to cover? Over 50% said no, they didn't believe in the freedom of the press. They didn't like it, they didn't want it. Over fifty percent of the people squandered the Bill of Rights and so on through them all. This is what horrifies me. Most people have never read the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution of the United States. As a matter of fact, in the Congress of the United States, it was about three years ago, some um, conservative members discovered that no one, at least in the re reported record, had ever read the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution or the Bill of Rights in the Congress. No one had ever read these fundamental documents of our freedom as they set about the work of infringing or purportedly enhancing those freedoms. So this article that I've written to you, I hope, hits a strong point, uh, and I hope that as the, the July 4th comes about, that you will rectify the mistake and the error that I put on this article. This article, by the way, is published at www.jeffreylantarticles.com. Howard will be posting your article from time to time. There you'll find over 1,000 of my articles, which when you become a member, you can use to generate as many leads as you like. Our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Independence Day 2013. From the mountains, to the prairies, to the oceans, white with throne. begins with a copy of George Washington's copy of the Declaration of Independence, which is actually not in good shape. She made the request as if she thought I might die, and as if I might deem it inappropriate for a business website. However, if she thought this, she didn't think it for long. Of course you should read the Declaration of Independence in the live business center. I'm only irritated that I didn't think of it myself. And thus did Barbara Bugler, a senior monitor to the World Province LBC, do what every citizen should do one day each year this day. That is not just to, not just to, that this is not just to think about this exalted document, but it actually read it aloud as our ancestors used to do, beginning on July 4th, 1776. Sadly, most people do nothing, no thought, no reading, no consideration of the at all, of one of history's signature documents, the document that laid the revolutionary's case, our case, before the bar of public opinion worldwide thereby not only alerting our English masters that a new reality was at hand, but every oppressive government, wherever it might be, not just then, but forever after. And so the lady from rural Texas began to read, each word famous, but some ex touched by God himself. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of this earth a separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. Having thus forthrightly stated their risky intentions, the genius of young Thomas Jefferson, just 33, 
at the time he put quill pen to paper, the members of Congress assembled, each now a marked man, a man venturing everything that makes life comfortable and sweet, thrilled to the riff, each of to the each choke would unify thirteen fractious colonies, the riff they would they would forever brand enjoyed by the grace of God, came as the very archetype of tyranny, when in fact he was anything but. To make his point, and to foment the revolution to which he and his resolute colleagues were committed, he did what all revolutionaries do, he contorted the truth. He exaggerated, misstated, rearranged, and reshaped. He better to achieve his treasonous goal. So make no mistake about it, these men who were playing to the highest stakes, who were betting everything on being right, the consequences were staggering if they were not. For each one individual and for all, collectively. And so Jefferson, a world-class propagandist, gifted with the power of words, took sharp aim at his anointed sovereign, never mind that hapless monarch and the monster of iniquity conceived and portrayed by Jefferson had virtually nothing in common, no matter. Thus, at least 18 times in prose that grew in harshness and intensity with each new clause, beginning, he has. Jefferson, who walloped his king and liege lord, the man who asserted who had never tired of menacing, upsetting, exasperating, and even destroying the colonies, which were the jewels of his, his imperial crown. Thus, he has refused his assent to laws most wholesome and necessary to the public good. Two, he has excited domestic insurrections among us and has endeavored to bring on the inhabitants of frontiers the merciless Indian savages, whose known rule of warfare is an indistinguishable destruction of all ages, sexes, and conditions. It was splendid, masterful, invective, broad, audacious, designed to outrage and turn every colonial, no matter how disengaged, loyal and pacific, into a fervent partisan, a new breed called Americans. However, there was a problem, a big problem, the real King George III and Jefferson's boogeyman were not same person. No way. How to handle this conundrum? Lie. For after all, if a man is proposing treason, what matter a lie or two? You cannot make an omelet without breaking eggs. About the king, a true revolutionary himself. But if Jefferson had carelessly distorted his facts, sometimes in degree, sometimes in velocity, sometimes by a word or two of artful arrangement, sometimes false in every particular, who then was the man who for whom his subjects worldwide said, God save the king. That man, George Frederick William, 1738-1820, was the product of revolution, the heir of revolution, the living pledge of revolution. The man whose very life confirmed the promise and settlement of the great and glorious revolution of 1688 provided. But the sovereign reign would rule as little as Parliament allowed, and that year by year was less and less. So this revolution, led by renegade aristocrats, assured the final victory of Parliament over Crown, thus turning this Crown, however radiant and burnished, into the creature of the people and their potent legislature, from whence came everything, including whatever colonial policy they thought best, whatever obstreperous lenders you might think. And this presented Thomas Jefferson with a stupendous, daunting problem, which would surely have confounded and thwarted many aristocrats men. Lord Jefferson had many other things on his always active mind. For one thing, he was physically uncomfortable, as all the delegates were. It was insufferably hot in Philadelphia, those crucial days of argument and revolution. Delegates grew irritable from tossing night after miserable night, unable to find the rest they sorely needed for matters of such high importance. Worse, they discovered the tenacious presence and bite of bedbugs, determined creatures, no respecters of persons or causes, savoring the flesh of delegates, happy in their work. Then there was the matter of this parlous, of his parlous financial condition. Throughout his long life, Jefferson lived like the wealthy man he never was. He spent money he didn't have, borrowing money he had no way and perhaps no intention of paying back. He was well acquainted with duns pestering him for long overdue sums. And so it was in Philadelphia, where its many Quaker residents curiously adhered to the quaint notion that what was borrowed needed to be repaid in timely fashion point of view entirely foreign to Jefferson, and have careless finances and high living. But there was another reason, too, and that was his beloved wife, Martha Wales Skelton, who was a 23-year-old widow when he married her January 1st, 1772. Theirs was a love match, which all that entailed, and in the long and comfortable nights he missed her to the core of his ardent being, and longed for her passion embraces. Remember, he was just 33. 
However, the revolution didn't meet him, and so he put his genius to work crafting the words of revolution. Fortunately, he had opponents who were not remotely as gifted in that department, opponents who failed to answer Jefferson and his colleagues, and so lost the crucial battle for hearts and minds. Jefferson made a brilliant case. His opponent relied on their established rights and disdained the messy business of human persuasion, and this wasn't remotely good enough as the loyal resident lawyers learned to their eternal detriment and ruin. Lord North. This brings us to the very antagonist Jefferson might have wished to have, Frederick North, 2nd Earl of Guilford, Knight of the Garter, Privy Councilor, 1732 to 1792. Known to history by his great type, Lord North. The man who, along with his dread lord, threw away the greatest of empires, his tenure in office running from 1770, 1782 was disastrous for the crown and the greatest possible benefit to Jefferson and the great republic which grew from the Great Declaration. In short, Jefferson and his colleagues lucked out. As Napoleon later said, give me the lucky man. That was most assuredly Jefferson, most assuredly not North. And the sad thing is, North knew it and often begged his sovereign for permission to resign. But the king wanted a man as prime minister he trusted, and that was North, a man of no vision, no knowledge of Americans in the colonies, without empathy, inspiration, or the ability to cut a deal that would keep them British. He pleased the king, and so his majesty kept the man congenial to him, catastrophic to his realm. How Jefferson, brilliant, dazzling, splendid Jefferson, must have whooped at the, his unrivaled fortune in having such a hat, such a mediocrity, as his opponent. Thus was the greatest empire sundered, thus did the great republic grow apace, the one led by the blind and inadequate the other driven by determination, brains, and growing expertise in the artistry of revolution. In such circumstances, the English could not prevail. They had so little to offer, whilst the revolutionaries promised everything, including life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The hand of the trump call. God bless America. Thus we arrive at today by stages short and long, difficult and easy, losing and winning, proud and with basing, but always important and influential, for such is our destiny. And we must lay it out. But I have this question for you, my dear, my ever dear. How can we do so with massive ignorance about who we are, where we came from, what we have done, and why it matters? For that is a painful and dangerous situation today when so little is known of America and that little is so often wrong. How, how long can we stay in under such unfeeling circumstances? And how can we possibly help the world be that bright, shining city of presenting such a poor and tawdry example? That is why I urge you to read the Great Declaration aloud and help rescue the great republic from the sad plight today. So dangerous, so inglorious, so abashing in every way. Then go to any search engine and find Irving Berlin's great hymn to the great republic, God Bless America. First written in 1918, revised in 1948. I recommend this story version by Kate Smith, a shanty flower, who brought a tear to the eye of every true American. Every lover of freedom and every citizen trusts our joy in the night with the light from the world. And Howard, I think you've got the music, you just put it on the screen. What do you think of that? Excellent. Source at to our July Fourth articles. Read into an ebook. Tell the people out there how you're going to use this article. Oh, breaking up. First and foremost, what's going to happen? is I'm going to type in the search functions July 4th Independence Day it's going to have a selection of articles that I can choose from select those articles put a title to it put a little preface to it hit the send button save it and send it out to the world And if anyone wants to comment on the article that we about this gun, we'd be happy to see those comments. First of all, it's our great mentor, Bill Gates, who 
who said the famous words, content is king. The longer that I am on Adam, now over 20 years, the more I see the importance of content, and the more content I create. Our members are lavish with content of New York Times, Taliban, Washington Post, that is the very best copy that exists. How many of you hope people in the audience are using this copy to benefit yourselves? I make it available freely without cost. Howard, what should these people be doing with, with articles? Articles that they can post every day. We have thousands of such articles. I've written over a thousand myself. They should be sending it out every single day. There's so many resources out there. And you're being, being dumb if you don't use the material. I'm raking in the not only money, but I'm putting these people on my list. And that's crucial. Just like William Buckley says, I use a lazy blogger system. Let's talk about, because your, your son is breaking up uh, consistently. Why, why don't we talk a bit about the people that come in here from day one? Are they going to be confused? Are they taken in hand? Are they given the kind of mentorship that they need? Talk about the people who are new, who come in here, who have never made a dime on the internet and need to make extra money. What do we do that gets them off to a good start? First and foremost, we have a simple to follow home business boot camp training program. With over 90 ones. This happens every single Friday. And it also happens on Saturdays, which you'll learn from Dr. Lant the nuances of using video marketing and being a star on the screen. What I'm going to do here is bring up a couple of people over there who are, I guess it's anything goes. Judy Dallas, are you able to come up for a minute? Tiny bit, are you able to come up for a minute? I'm going to ask the ladies, as Abigail Adams said to John Adams when he was at the conference in Philadelphia, would remember the ladies. So it's showing you that I have read my Adams papers. Tanya Vick, Judy Dallas, are you there? Come on, Judy, come up. Yeah, Judy, what I want you to tell them is, you're, you're new to the crew. I want you to tell them what your life is like from the start, from the moment you decided to do this. What what did we do to ensure your success? Because we have people like Don, Dan Garen, who keeps coming here. Don keeps his video 28 times. Don Garen, German Torres. Folks, if you don't, Work with us. How can you expect to get ahead? Judy, talk about what it was like from the beginning to now. How did you get from I'm failing on the net to where you are now? Well, the first thing was when I somehow got to the World Profit site, I was looking around, I listened, watched the video, and my problem more than anything else was traffic, how to get it, what to do to get it, you know, where to go to get it. And this had uh, World Profit has everything I need to get traffic. I'm getting more traffic to my websites in the, you know, four weeks than I did in four years, four or five years. And it also has a lot of the software that, um, well, I had purchased, and usually the software is from 27 to $97 or more. And this had uh, software that I wanted, but didn't want to buy because I didn't really know how to use it properly. And um, this has just been amazing. And the support, like the boot camp, because it, they're short lessons and they go right in order. And they're saved so that you can go back and look at them if you forget something or, or you say, what, what was that all about again? You know, um, I think I read it somewhere and it just really is helpful. What I'm going to ask you to do is, German, this is Dr. Land, do you hear me? German, it's time. We're going to make you a spectacular offer worth over $20,000 right this minute. 
German, do you hear me? My German, you've been here before. You know the drill. You're not making any money on the internet. We're going to change all that. Will you work with us, German? That's the question. Will you work with us or are you up all the way to the map? Will you work with us? Simple yes or no question. He says he will. We'll see if he's a man of his word. Judy, I want you to read the offer to him. Hey. So we, we think, I don't know if you have, but you finished watching the video, and that's great. Then you already know the awesome offer we got for you if you order in the next 15 minutes. You get the $6,500 bonus offer made in the video and $400 a month of cutting-edge success materials, all with resale rights. And you get all the material we've given before. This is worth thousands of dollars. You get total success training and home business boot camp. Also, 75 monitors will start closing in sales for you today before charging you anything. You also get $800 worth of crucial business and wealth building software, all with resale rights. You also get World Profits Unique ClickBank promo kit, enabling to make at least $1,000 a month without spending a penny. You also get our incredible ma magic list builder, which turns any website into a list building page instantly. And if you accept this offer in the next two minutes, you get 10 associates who will generate commission for you. If you're ready to accept, press on the red order button. But there is more. Important, place your order within five minutes and get 50,000 additional money-making credits, including 10,000 additional guaranteed visitors to the website of your choice from Traffic Center and 20,000 credits from our popular Safe List Stream mega list system. You all get absolutely free our newest traffic generating marvel, the automatic SCPO promo hot kit. It's a $450 retail value. This helps you get guaranteed number one position on Google, Yahoo, Bing, etc. It, it also promotes your URL to over 3,000 backlinking sites with just a few clicks and allows you to post your message on over 70 safe lists and top e traffic exchanges. Finally, we include the SEO Power Pack of 23 software programs worth over $1,000. This is our gift to you if you join now. Just click on the red order button. But there's more. If you get the silver package now, you'll get over, it's way over a thousand original articles for your blog by master writer and marketer Dr. Jeffrey Lamp. You just had an example of one of the articles read to you. See the complete collection at jeffreylantarticles.com. Active dealers use these articles to generate thousands of responses in just 15 minutes or so every single day, and Howard showed, um, explained how he does it. You also get brand new software by master inventor George Kosh, which enables you to create hundreds of ebooks in about three minutes per ebook. This spectacular offer is made once and only once, so act now. Click on the red order button, order in the next 15 minutes, and add this to your $12,000 bonus package. You create, customize, and produce video articles almost as fast as you can read this sentence. And new, 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 order within the next seven minutes, and we will include the easy-to-use software you need to give away unlimited free advertising to any, to all of your customers, whatever you're selling. This is Tech Wizard George Kosh, latest invention, and you will use it daily to get your customers to act, to respond, and to buy. It is a $1,995 retail value. It's yours free now. This is an exclusive world profit by world profit. And attention, one more thing here. Now, a couple more things, German. Even more, video marketing is the hottest thing on the net. And have you been to YouTube lately? 
Now you can stay home and profit, if you know how to do it. Internationally known marketer Jeff, Jeffrey Lamp, Dr. Jeffrey Lamp, World Profit CEO and co-founder, shows you how to use video marketing to sell anything. Order in seven and get his incredible video marketing course free. This is a $10,000 value, and that's what any university would charge for a two-day workshop. But this is going to be ongoing training. The course is unique. It does not exist anywhere else, and you'll get it now. Plus, Dr. Lance's 19th ebook, Net Profits, which retails on Amazon for $29.95, is yours free as a bonus. You get you will be able to use that book to generate hundred thousands of leads with just one click. So click on the red order button and order now. And additionally, if you scroll to look at the top of the page in green, you'll see that you're going to get 700,000 submissions for your website at um, right here. That's an additional bonus. Now that's quite nice. Too. So I'm declaring a okay, race between Don Garand and Jerome Torres. Here's the race. The first one of you gentlemen to get an order in. You understand me? Don, listen to me. Don and Jerome, the first one of you that gets an order in will get 100 free customers, free associates, 100. One only. The second person that comes in will get 50. I'm not fooling around. I don't expect you to fool around. What you got to do is click on the bright red box that says order now. You want option one, the monthly option. If you blow it, you're going to have wasted 50 customers right off the bat, and I will not alter this. You've got seven minutes in which to place the order. It is for anyone up there, Andre, German, Don, Paulette, I don't care who's in the race. The more the merrier. I'm giving it to one person. 100 customers for one person plus the $20,000 bonus offer. Judy, this is a terrific offer. It's a I don't like to see people sit the offer. Money, you know what's the <laughs> in the middle of the summer. Get up, get up, get up. As my grandmother used to say, get up and you know what. The bottom line is, I'm, I don't have a single person on the order form right now. People would say they want to succeed on the net. German's on the order form. Now he's off the order form. He's up, he's up, he's down, he's in, he's out. People, that is not business. That is lunacy. That is what a blue tail fly does. You to the left reckoning where you're judged to be human. I don't know who made that mistake, but it wasn't me. Don, Garen, you asked about the associates. This is how you get them. He's actually offering free associates. Yes, right now, 100. You were on the order form, and now you took yourself off. Why'd you do that, Don? People, you say, you say give me the I, or I want a pie. So we come up with a pie. I don't want that pie. I want a cake. You're going to give me the cake. I don't want a cake. I want cupcakes. My God, people, would you please just decide? You want internet success or you don't? You just upgraded why you coming in here as an associate. You, if you upgraded, then you got your dealer number. Where did you do this? Where did you upgrade? German, if this is true, you're the, you're the man to beat. Just now. Well, I'm going to go check and see whether that's true. I don't see your order did not come up on the screen as they usually do. Let's see what you forgot. Don, and I don't see anyone named Don who placed an order. Nope, I don't. Did you place it on PayPal? It's conceivable that this PayPal can run late. A few minutes. Did you, how did you place the order? You have this confirmation. Goody, I don't. Right, so he gets the hundred. If you, I'm going to go on what you say, Howard, and Judy gets the credit. Now that knocks you down to needing two. See a place and make, make whoopee with Jeffrey. That's all I can tell you. So John's um, here also. Yes, John. You know, John, we're going to put you on the green box and get you started on your way to success. German, are you placing an order? German, if you're placing an order, I'll see what I can do for you. If you talk to me, if you don't respond to me now, then the maximum number of free associates you can give is 50. 
German, I'm waiting for you. Who do you need if German comes in on your shift? Oh, German. Thank you place the order. Where are these orders going that I don't see them on my list? How, how come you're getting notifications and not me? Well, Don has to go uh, read the email and come in as a dealer then. You are giving me a whisper. Hold on, I'm going to take a look. Sorry, she doesn't don't see either one of these orders. Where are they going? saying anything, Judy, about uh, the Germans' order? No. Ask me if we got a confirmation. Don has a confirmation. How far do you have a confirmation? Okay, I see Donald. Uh, Donald is in now. So we're waiting for Germany. Waiting for Germany. German. German. System says it's it says it's processing. Right. Did you place it at PayPal or what did, where did you place it? Now, Judy, a house. You'd be up for two if he comes in. I Kieran, Timson, would you like would you like an absolutely staggeringly good offer? Judy, we've got 13 minutes to push you over the ridge. <laughs> yeah. Um. Dr. Kieran. Dr. Actually, there's one more minute for. I wonder, did German do it on PayPal or how did he do, how did he do the order? Ask him. And Kareen, you I don't haven't know what been the here did. before. I did. Oh, German. Did you do it through PayPal? How did How did you put the order through? Did you through? Amex? Said Amex. Right. And he did it through. Don did it through PayPal. No, Don. Don, you're all set. So just sit tight for a minute. We'll get yeah. to you in a minute. We're trying to sort this out. German, did you actually place an order? Did you click send? Donald is okay. German is not okay. And Kieran is not in the race. Get Kieran on the order for me. I mean, on the, uh, on the video. Video. We need, we need, yeah, the video box. Doesn't she need to see the video? Yeah. Put him on the video. Okay, Kareem, we have, have a video for you to watch. It's 17 minutes long. When you come out of it, we have a spectacular offer for you that you will not see anywhere else on the internet. It will get you going in your online business or augment the one you're in. So go watch the video, just the hyperlink or the green watch video button. German was still you're waiting welcome. for. Okay, I'm going to check one more time. What is what is var batum mail? I don't know. What is that Batman language? Check and see whether his order is in yet.
Okay, checking again. Nope. Durbin's order is not in. So I must assume that it's not coming in. It's been long enough. You, German, you have, unless you have a... Judy, are you going for your shift next time, next hour? No, I'm not. I'm not coming in until um, 5 uh, Eastern up? time. Who, who's up that time, the next hour? I think I thought Howard was still on. I'll look. Well, Howard, Howard, I'm going to surround you. Howard, half the time I can't hear you. So come up. Let's sort that out. Judy A. Douse, I'm trying to help you get three. For God's sakes, woman, listen to me. Come up. Try it back here. Please get a computer that works. Half the time I can't hear you. You, you, you fell off the screen four or five times. It is very difficult to stay concentrated. You know what I mean? This the yes, the computer. German, it is okay. Well, explain it to me then. I'm out of technical. How come you keep going down? I, I went down because Judy wrote that. That one. Okay, that accounts for one. I'll ask our colleagues. Colleagues, is, is it, is, is it uh, difficult for you to concentrate if the person's going up and down on the screen? Okay, Don, sit tight. We're going to take care of you in just a minute. Now, what I was trying to do was give Judy enough face time that she could pass. She needs two more sales. Please, people, do not issue instructions when I'm on top of this. I'm not an idiot, and I was doing exactly what was necessary. Now she's gone, and she's lost her shaft. Well, well good, good for you, Howard. I know you were help, trying to help her. But now that she's gone, I, I can't give her any credit. So she's, she would have had only one more to get if we'd left her alone to deal with Germany. But... You lucky dog, Howard, you get to deal with the German. And you get to give Don his instructions. All right, Don. Hold on a second. You know, Judy, if you hadn't gone down, oh, I would have kept you up there so that you could have gotten credit. Now, Howard was actually, Howard's going to get the actual credit. I would have given you the credit in your, in your race to become a senior monitor. You went down, so you lost the opportunity there. Now, please, when you're up with me, be up with me. However, you didn't um, have your instructions. instructions. You still have two, two left. German's now in. Judy, Howard would have gotten the financial credit for that offer, which he does. You would have gotten the other credit if you had stuck with it. So you, you, you shot yourself in the... Does everybody understand why I'm ticked off about this? I'm trying to get one of our colleagues through the senior monitor program to get her, get her up there with the senior monitor no conditions. I know you didn't do it on purpose, but you didn't listen to me. I wanted you to stay put and make that sale. The minute the, the German said he was in, I believed him to the extent that I believe anybody. I wanted you to get the credit. That Howard would have gotten the financial credit. Howard's going to be the person under his orders. He doesn't care what other credits I give out on that. You understand what I'm saying? Now, congratulations, German and Don. We have such a great offer for both of you. Howard's going to introduce you to it. Howard, carry on. Hey, okay, German. I'm going to give you instructions, too, that I just gave Don. I want you to read these and follow these with T, okay? This is for you, German. Post it for you. Follow his instructions. I'm going to give you, um, so you smell like a rose. I'm going to let German have 100 associates just like I'm giving down 100. 100 for them each. There. Now you love me again. Now the rest of you, I'll square you all up later. 
All right, Don, in, say, in German, I'm giving you 102. Probably because I'm German myself. Gott mit uns. German and Don, your instructions are on the screen there. I've already placed an email to our accounts and president, Sandy Hunter, to take care of you. So you get those 100 associates, 100 potential customers for you that will close those sales for you. And welcome to our World Profit family. And now, because I like to rub salt in wounds, I noticed that Kieran is on the order form. Judy, that was your third person. Kieran was the one I was aiming for. Now he's on the order form. We also have another fellow named Tan Dirai Yachofo. That one of those would have been your third. You would have been out of conditional status. Honey child, when your seal speaks, listen. Howard, tell Judy. Send her a net. You have stayed up there as long as you needed to catch him so we can get you past conditional monitor. I have no problem with it. We want you. Okay? You see, the thing was, Judy, Howard was going to get the financial credit anyway. That wasn't a, that wasn't an issue. But I needed to see you, what you were going to do, and I want, I want you to pass. I want you to pass more than you want you to pass. All right, now go drown your sorrows in a vat of martinis, preferably double red. And let's talk to Karen and Howard. Let's talk to uh, Lee and Karen. Karen. And, uh, Don and uh, Don in Germany. Did you give me the end? Let's see what she did. Listen, Don and Karen, your, your explanations about membership are on the screen. Directions. Okay? You've got to follow those directions. Karen Timpson and Lee. Stevens, are you ready to place your order? Here we have a spectacular offer for each of you. And anything goes, still is going. We have three minutes left. Folks at home, you've seen a real issue of how we go. First of all, I want everyone to understand. Judy, so those of you who were watching, Judy Doss is a candidate to be a senior monitor. She needed to make three sales to, to get rid of the condition. As soon as I saw that two were going to happen, I was going to just basically blob her enough lowball until she finally hit one out of the park. That would have been three. But, but man disposes, proposes, God disposes. We'll bring up Patrice. Patrice, we're going to bring you up now for some words of praise for you. We have Patrice Porter coming up. Good day, Dr. Lant, and oh, what an exciting program. I feel like program. I'm playing bridge with newbies. I feel like I'm playing contract bridge, and I'm over here on the Olympic level, I got a bunch of newbies over there who's like, what? Two with two spades, three hearts. What? <laughs> Don't bid hearts. Yeah, that's what it, it's wonderful to see all this happening here, and there's always so much happening here at World Profit here, and and thank you for that wonderful article. Uh, you always put such a good gloss on. Here, this is a kiss for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But the, uh, that article, bringing to mind the Declaration of Independence, it's so easy to forget about that. And uh, I thank you for that. And, uh, and That's it's, a very important article. All kidding aside, that article yeah. is deeply meant from my heart. It's historically accurate and, it's, uh, and it's, it's very significant. Are we doing what is necessary to preserve our freedom? That's the question. Yeah, very, very significant. And uh, I'll be bringing that forward and... and Passing on that message to people through ebooks and blogging and uh, article submissions. And uh, again, thank you for that. And it's wonderful to have two new members. And it looks like we might have our third here, too. And if you'd like to check out uh, my home business central that I've developed from World Profit here, you can go to www.20waystoprofit.com. 
And also I've used the tools and resources from World Profit here to help people to create abundance by gardening. And you can check that out at www.gardeningforfoodsecurity.com. And you can catch you the re- got some good tomatoes coming up. I, mean, I, I want to know, let's, let's get to the heart of the matter. You got some good tomatoes this year. I, I, I've got them, yes, and uh, we've our little uh, tomatoes that we started with the pre-K, they're they're going to start turning red pretty quick. But we've, we've got a very, very late season this year, so gardening season. But the others are blooming and just starting to form fruit. But I'll have lots of new varieties. I like trying new and different things. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, check out the replay of today's program on the YouTube channel, Patrice Porter. And with that, I'm going to say my adieus till the next Anything Goes tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. Bye for now. Thank you, White Rabbit. That's our White Rabbit, Patrice Porter. It wouldn't happen without her. She's absolutely terrific. She's the one variable in my life that isn't driving me crazy. So, Patrice, extra, extra kudos for you. Howard Martell is taking over the ship. I'm going to stay up for a little bit. I'll be down for official reasons and come back. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the monitor program and what I'm doing. We are, compared to last year, we have minuscule uh, gaps compared to last year. I'm going to go down for two minutes. Just that will stop anything goes. In the olden days, the glimpse of shocking was looking upon something shocking. Now, God, anything goes. Dr. Lent going down.